ticker symbol NSEH, currently traded at 0006. The last time we went through this one it was a while ago. Uh, that's going to be bringing us back to, yeah, uh, where are we at right here? All right, right there's going to be the last time. So we'll need to hold 0017. Wait for buying, needs to break 001. 20 day simple moving average resistance at 00913. Chart is setting up, in my opinion. Uh, I can't go too far off of that. I mean, today, there's a big volume day today, but a lot of selling going on right now. Um, from what I see, obviously, with just this candle, I'd have to take a look at. Uh, let me go over here. You know, I like to use the intradays uh, on, on the message boards also. Like this right here, this is, gives me an idea. Uh, of like how the day has gone. I could break that down over here in 30 minutes also, but I don't know, something like everybody asks me, how do you do these charts? I do refer to these a lot, uh, a lot a lot more than it may seem up here because when we're doing these charts, sometimes I do it on the side on the side screen. I'll look at what this intraday chart looks like. This kind of gives me an idea of where it started up and then where it's going and how it's been trading. So obviously you guys started off strong here and from the looks of that, that there was a gap up and it looks to be correct that there was. And I could see that right here because there was no line, steady line right here at the red. It just opened up here. All right, so you see that gap just on the intraday chart. But if we come over here, then you could see it running across it to triple zero nine. Uh, and then the open, or I'm sorry, the open, it was gapped down, my bad. So this closed at triple zero eight. Oh no, I'm sorry. And it opened at triple zero nine. I was right originally. And then it pulled down off of that. Uh, I would continue to watch it. I, I still firmly believe that this thing is start, uh, starting to really wind up. Um, it, it's it's really steady. It's not like it's dropped off too much. And you can see where it's at right now. That 0006 is solid support uh, running all the way back even from February 14th. Uh, it's obviously been getting beat down for quite a while. Uh, not really even that bad. Uh, no, hold on. I take that back. Yes, it has. 0042 back here in October. Yeah, so yes, it has been beaten down. I take that back. So hey, you know what? If you can benefit benefit from it, make a few bucks on a, on a trade, on a quick trade, if you're not looking for a long-term investment, I would definitely keep an eye on it. Watch for that buying to push back. It just needs to get above that 20-day simple moving average. The chart is definitely getting wound up really tight here. Uh, if you guys break through the triple zero nine, this thing's gonna set off. I'm telling you that I can see it right here. This is the first time you guys tapped the twenty day, sim uh, thirty day simple moving average here in two months. Yeah, two months. But keep an eye on it. Something might be going on here for NSEH. Uh, I would definitely keep it in consideration for short term. I don't like the way that the long term chart looked. Uh, that's my personal opinion. But hey, doesn't mean you can't trade it. All right, so um, these guys, they haven't had any recent updates since the last time we went over it. So uh, as always, if you're interested in researching more on this company, go right over to the NSEH board right on Investors Hangout. And you can basically look at the recent news. So you can go back on the recent news from you know, months, months ago, actually years ago. And then look into the filings, the financials, the buy rating, the uh, time and sales company profile. As always, if you have an opinion on the company, feel free to share it with the tens of thousands of like-minded investors that are using the site daily. All right, there we go. So triple zero seven, wait for buying needs to pick up to break the trip thirty day simple moving average is zero zero one. Chart is setting up in my opinion, and then support at triple zero six must hold. I'm going to put that in there. If you start seeing triple zero fives hitting, uh. I would really I would really be cautious. That's my personal. That being said, if you follow the stock, make sure you hit subscribe and like. We'd appreciate that very much. Stay updated with the hottest stocks in the market. If you have a hot stock that you're following other than NSEH, make sure you head over to investorshangout.com forward slash live.